YouTube, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Eric Cantona, the king himself, with a FIFA 22 player review. So, it's been a little while since I've done one of these. Um, actually, I think this is the first player review that we've done for FIFA 22. So, it's been, uh, we're what, almost halfway through the cycle now, and um, you know I'm excited to get back to it. Uh, finally got the Road to Glory team to a place where we've got some good players. Hopefully over the next few weeks we've got Team of, team of the Year around the corner. Uh, we can get some more reviews in and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the content. So, let's talk about Cantona. I got Cantona for about 900,000 coins. Um, I would say about a week and a half, two weeks ago, maybe-ish. We've played about, what did we play? It's 57 games with him. Uh, we've got about 50 goals, so a little bit under um, a goal per game, but if you include his 19 assists, he's definitely over a goal per game um, in a goal contribution. Uh, I really, really have enjoyed this card. I will say, um, you know, for one of the more meta icons, he's definitely a little bit cheaper than your, you know, your Cruyffs or obviously like your R9s or your... Uh, you know, really top end uh, strikers, but for being just one like slight tier under those guys, um, and also being the baby version, uh, so the base icon version, uh, as he's formerly known, uh, this card is really insane. Uh, so taking a look at his, um, you know, basic attributes, uh, he's six two, so he's a bigger forward. Um, he has a high and uh, average body type, I do believe. Um, which, you know, isn't the best body type, but he is, you know, he does have a big physical presence, which is nice for crosses. Um, he's strong. He can hold off defenders. Uh, he has five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. He's right-footed, high attacking work rate, medium, uh, defensive work rate. Uh, all great things. Obviously, you'd love to have the five-star, uh, weak foot, but, you know, almost perfect in terms of what you're looking for from the core attributes. Um, in terms of his stats, he's not the fastest on his face card, so you need to apply Hunter, in my opinion, to get the most out of him, um, as an attacker. Of course, we know in the meta of FIFA, uh, for as long as I've been playing, it's always been pace, pace, pace. So, uh, we want to hop, uh, throw Hunter on him, get him to that 98 sprint speed, 96, uh, acceleration, and also it boosts that shooting a little bit to make this card truly insane. So... Um, looking at his, his base stats, so you can see attack positioning 88, good, not super amazing, finishing also good, but not great, um, but once you apply that Hunter uh, chemistry style, it, it, it does make those great attributes. Uh, shot power 92, you really like that, that's higher than like a Neymar, that's higher than a Messi, uh, you know, you get that plus 5, so he's really like, you don't need to do a lot of finesse shots in the box, you can just power it either near post or across the goal, and, and a lot of times it'll go in, especially... If you can time your shots, they're going to be rockets, and the keeper's going to have no chance. Uh, long shots 87 is good enough. That's better than a lot of your pure center forwards. Um, obviously, you've got some cards that are going to have slightly higher than that, but 87 is good enough, especially when you couple it with that shot power, um, that if you catch it right, right around the top of the box, you can you can um, hit one right into the top corner. Volley's 93 with the plus 6, 99, that's perfect. Really going to be helpful for getting onto those crosses. If he doesn't head it in, he's going to volley it in. And then penalties with the plus 10, 98, um, if you need somebody to take your penalties. Uh, he's also a really good passer. So one thing that I really, really enjoy about this card is that without having to boost his passing at all, I know with players like CR7, uh, who also needs like some of the agility and stuff, you need to give the uh, engine card. Um, which sucks because it, in order to give somebody an engine, it's only a plus five for speed. It really boosts the, drib the dribbling and the passing, but it doesn't boost the shooting at all. And with this card, you really need that extra finishing and extra attack position, in my opinion. Um, but engine would still do good, especially if you're using this card as like a, a cam instead of a pure center forward, a center forward, or if you're using it out wide for some reason in like a 4-3-3 or 4-2-3-1, uh, maybe you want to think about giving him engine, but... His passing is already really good for, for a striker. I mean, 90 vision, excellent. He can cross if he's out wide. He can pass short. He can even pass long. 84 long passing is good as well. Uh, not great at free kicks, but uh, above average. 
his dribbling is pretty good as well. 91 dribbling, 90 ball control, 92 composure. That's huge. Um, he's going to finish with defenders all around him. He's going to be able to control the ball in the box. He's going to be able to take that one touch and then score um, that little movement. Or if you want to do like a, a scoop turn in the box or even like a, a skill can cancel or skill move of some sort, he's going to be really good at that. Uh, agility and balance, I would say slightly above average, but not great. 87, 85. Um, he's a bigger player. He's 6'2", so he's not going to feel like Neymar. He's not going to feel like Messi. Uh, he's not even going to feel like Mbappe in the box. I'm going to say, for me, he feels more like a, um, a Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, maybe a little bit better because he's a slightly better passer. Um, you don't have to give him engine. Uh, he can survive with Hunter, which is something that you can't really do with Ronaldo, so it makes him a little bit faster, um, a little bit... You know, they're both great finishers, but he's just, I think he's got a little, I play with him and CR7 together as strikers in a 4-4-2, which I'll talk about in a second, and I and I definitely feel like Cantona's a little bit more consistent. Um, heading accuracy, jumping, um, he's a great target, he's got great stamina at 90 stamina, you can play him the whole game without having to sub him out, even with an occasional press here or there. Uh, strength 89, aggression 91, amazing physical stats, um, amazing heading, you don't have to boost that at all. Player traits, he's got what you're looking for in terms of power header um, and outside the foot shot. Obviously, you love strikers that have finesse shot trait, but it's not really the end of the world if they don't have it. He also has flair. So that's a quick look at his base stats. Next, we're going to take a look at how I play him in-game. So in-game, um, this is the formation I start out with for chemistry. Um, as you can see, I said I play him with CR7. In-game, we play a 4-4-2. Uh, Right now I'm playing with the CDMs, but I'm thinking about transitioning to just a flat 4-4-2, which is the two center mids. Um, so I play with him next to Ronaldo up top. Um, eventually I'm thinking once, maybe after team of the year and we open some packs, I might get Best, might get uh, Neymar, and then move Mbappe into Ronaldo's role and away from the wing. But I have this untradeable Mbappe, so you know I have to have him in the team. But right now I'm using Ronaldo, Cantona up top as a strike partnership. I've got two defensive-minded center mids in Zakaria and Conte, and then Mbappe and Ar Arwar, I can't say his name very well, um, the winter wild card version is my wingers. And then I've got Sar, Rio, Mbappe, and Tierney as my uh, defense with Navas on eight in the uh, goal. So uh, next we're taking a look at his pl in-game player model and talk a little bit about his um, his performance in-game. All right, guys, welcome back. So now we're going to take a look at his in-game um, player build, player model. So as you can see, obviously, uh, we talked about his body type, high and average. So he does, he's a big, um, you know, he's not stocky or bulky, but he's tall. He's 6'2", so, you know, he definitely stands out on the pitch. Uh, obviously, he has a, a custom player face. Um, uh, I believe they did they did a better job this year of like individualizing the different uh, cards and differentiating the different faces. Obviously, I haven't seen his other uh, player models in depth, but um, you know I think this is a pretty high quality. This is next gen. Um, I've been playing next gen this year. I know there's mixed reviews on if next gen's better than current gen, but that's what I'm doing for for now. But um, so obviously we have a custom uh, player model, uh, high detail, uh, you know, looks really good. We don't have a custom body type, as I mentioned, it is high and average. Uh, this is kind of what his basic running motion looks like. Uh, a few dribble moves from the replay screen, just to kind of give you an idea of how he moves. Uh, we have the, the roll spin and a few other things just to kind of show you how he moves. Um, oh, a little too zoomed in. Uh, just to show you a little bit about just, um, and I'm just playing, this is just against the AI, just to kind of show you how he moves around. We'll uh, get in the ball here as he gets back on side. This is just on uh, beginner.
So just a little, just to kind of give you an idea of like what he looks like moving around the pitch. Obviously, I, that probably wasn't the best example because I turned it over twice with him, but. To go, the standing still has to go. So there you go. Um, just a little bit to kind of see how he moves around the field. Next, we'll get into some highlights so you guys can see him in uh, foot champs action and some rivals action as well. Thanks, guys. So many problems. Yeah, I don't have to beat anybody. I could if I wanted to use five star skills and agile, but I could just rip it. Other than five star weak foot, he's literally got everything. Another great thing about Cantona is that he, uh, he can pass. So I'm okay, like, off balance, swivel pass, that kind of stuff. Which not a lot of strikers are, even I can find.
keeper kind of got back into position, but hey. Nicely done. 